Hello, before I start this video, I just need to tell you guys a few things. Um, so if you guys like the video, and if you like what's in the video, make sure to hit the like button because that tells YouTube that this is the stuff that people want to be watching. If you don't do that, then YouTube doesn't know um, uh, that people should watch what I make, and then they just don't recommend me at all. And also, um, if you like, like, if you really like one of my videos, like a lot, you should go check out some of my other videos. Um, so yeah, on with the video. Hello, this is Soulsborn Central, here for all your Soulsborn needs, and today, this is going to be tips and tricks for Osiris the Consumed King. Now, one thing I've heard about this boss is that he is very random, so this might not help you a lot. Um, so yeah, just know there is a chance that he will not act anything like what I'm about to show you right now. So yeah, that's really important. But guys, I just want you to watch this cutscene really quick. Ignorant slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Well, I will not give him up. For he is all that I have. That is one of my favorite cutscenes in all of gaming, but that's not the point. The point is, is this dude, he is easy first phase. Um, if you have a decent weapon, you should be able to fight him, no problem. But since this was, this was my first time fighting him, I had a tiny bit of trouble, not by a lot, but just enough for me to lose over half my Estus on the first phase. I only had 8, so you know, it's understandable. I had plus four. Trust me, you are not supposed to have that little Estus um, in this part of the game. You're just not. Think about this. I'm pretty sure you have to beat Dancer before this, dude. I'm not doing tips and tricks for Dancer because <laughs> the file for that video got corrupted as well. That's not the point. The reason why I'm not talking about this dude is because he's easy first face. All you have to do, roll behind him, um, but you have to hug his what is that um his um baby making area yeah I, I'd say that well so once it's f once first phase is over he will start doing all this crazy stuff and what you gotta do you have to not do that because that will kill you instantly um what you have to do now you have to go for the butt because every single beast enemy in in these games go for the butt because that is your way to victory unless it's a dragon and you go for the head but that's not the point I'd actually recommend you not don't go aggressive for this dude that's how I won really I did not go aggressive at all for this dude I didn't even run towards him I walked towards him because I could do a lot not a lot of damage to him I could do enough damage for him to be able to beat him easily kind of I don't know um, but here's the thing with this dude, um, his tail attacks, you have to time the rules just right, so I don't really know the timing for him, I just tank it. If you have the HP I have, you can tank it, it's fine. So yeah, that attack, that's really good because it's really easy to dodge, but you don't get any hits in. That ramming attack, just tank it, but I don't have anything for that one. Just tank it. That's what you just gotta do. But, um, so if you dodge the tail swipe, you can get a whole bunch of hits on him, which is really, really good, because this dude, it's a long boss battle, is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, just tank that damage. Unless you don't have any HP, then 
Yeah, I'm gonna roll at the very last second. You should be good. Um, yeah, I'd also recommend rolling under him in his swiping attacks. Roll under him because um, he his legs are so wide. Um, he spreads them so wide. Ew. Um, he's um, he has them so wide that you can just go behind him for massive damage like that. Yeah, so don't, like, pick and choose your hits is what I'm trying to say. Don't just go in there guns blazing. You have to pick and choose which hits you want. It's good to be risky in this fight, but not so risky that you die. Um, you want to make sure that the hit, you will not get hit after you hit him. Like, for example, throw all these swipes, you know, it's just roll out of the way. And then after that, um, you should have him pretty much dead by now, so just attack his butt. Um, then yeah, you should be good. Because this dude staggers quite a lot if you can get a cup if you get a lot of hits on him at a time. So yeah, you should be able to beat Osiris with those tips and tricks. He's actually one of the easier bosses in my opinion. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, even though you probably did not. And I hope this helped, even though it probably did not. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.